Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing super well and in this video I just wanted to share with you some communication tips that has worked for me and I hope it might help you out especially if you're a person who has to sit with back-to-back -back calls and you feel that these calls are super draining yes sometimes it drains me out as well and these are some tips that work for me so I just wanted to share it with you. The very first one is if at all you feel that getting people into a single call and clarifying information, getting everyone aligned works best for you, then don't hesitate. Bring everyone onto a meeting or a call, get things aligned and then you can be super freed rather than you having to track with people, negotiate and then bring everyone to alignment. Sometimes it's easy to bring everyone onto a call and get everyone aligned. The second way is if at all you feel that you have some doubts that you want to clarify and you don't want to waste other people's time because calls could be frustrating for them as well, like how it's frustrating for you, okay? So what you want to do is you want to have one-on-one -on -one conversations, okay? In that way, you'll be able to empathize more with the person, you'll be able to clarify all your doubts, you'll be able to gain more knowledge and you'll be able to build a much more better relationship with your stakeholders or whoever you're communicating with. It Sometimes people are even more free of even, you know, opening up and, you know, sharing their experiences and their knowledge. So sometimes that one-on-one -on -one conversation could be much better than getting everyone on the call. Even sometimes it could remove conflicts, it could remove biases. So if in case you want to you want something like that, then you should be going on a one-on-one -on -one call. And the third one is, that's something that I do most of the time. Okay, if at all there's information that everyone is aligned with, everyone is aware of what they need to do, I don't want to get onto a call and waste everyone's time because everyone knows what has to be done. At that time, you can use non-verbal communications, which is either whatever works well for you, your team and your organization depending on what the culture is and how stakeholders would want to kind of get communicated with. So usually you would want to communicate via emails or if chats work well for you, then you can do it. But that has really helped me a lot because in that way, I don't waste people's time of communicating that same information again and again. You just update someone and be aware of, okay, this is what is supposed to be done. So this has greatly helped me to, you know, focus more on the most important task that I'm supposed to work on rather than spending so much of time in meetings and calls and in discussions. So if at all you're facing this similar situation, then maybe try these three techniques. These three techniques is something that I followed and it was mentioned in the BA Bok guide. And it's really helped me a lot. So I wanted to share it with you guys too. And I hope that you would benefit. If at all you feel that there's something else that works for you, please do share it in the comments so that we, all of us, the BA community, we can benefit from it. So until then, I hope you have a super day. Stay positive and do take care of yourself. Bye.